Welcome cool. back, everybody, to the Cross Counter Podcast, episode number two. Yeah, or one. We don't know which one you'll see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. maybe. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you don't maybe. know. Yeah. Hmm. Who knows? We'll see. How am I supposed to prepare under this condition, Mike? <laughs> well, oh, of on the fly, I just know. doing whatever. <laughs> I, I heard everything is scripted. <laughs> yeah. <but it> is. <laughs> Jeez, where's the script, Mike? Yeah, you know the well, scripts are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's under underneath this, uh, nice. all of our chairs. Nice. In the first or second episode <laughs> of the Cross Counter Podcast, mm-hmm. we are in the home of Flo. Mm-hmm. Yes. Flo, thank you for having us. Of course. Thanks for coming. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, you know, very happy to be here. Thank yeah. you so much. See, it's you got your while. Street Fighter set up right here. It's a nice, nice convenient it's a battle setup. station. Yeah. yeah. We um we just played us a quick set before we started this. Yeah. It went How pretty, did it go? Uh, interesting. Yeah. You had a strong start. Strong start. I had a sure. very, I had a very, it's probably the strongest start I've ever had against him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, normally when we play, I'll win one, the first game. And almost always. Almost, almost always. Almost 100%. And there was a trend for about a few months when that happened, I would pop off on the first game mm. and keep losing. Now, I, I was he quiet. He knows better now. I was quiet. I was like, all right, I won the first one. Let me shut up and just try to win the set. And yeah. Uh, he, How'd that go? He got lucky. Got lucky. It looked like it was three straight. Yeah, it was three straight. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely so three straight. If Mike wins the first two, yeah. and then you guys go back and forth. Hmm. But there's no back and forth. That's the thing. Until. is Usually the sets end up at 10-1, 10-2, 10-3. But those two or three games came at the very beginning. That's what they I mean. They never happened yes. again. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So what changes? Basically, the gimmicks stop working. That's, that's basically what happens. Uh, you know, like, because good players mm-hmm. will play solid the whole way through. Mm-hmm. But gimmicky players, such as, you know, uh-huh. old Honda players, okay. will use tactics and things that'll work for a couple games, mm-hmm. but it's just not solid play. You want to be a solid player. You don't want to win the 1 out of 10, mm-hmm. you want to win the 9 out of 10. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't just stare at me like that. So how does one, what are the qualities of being, of playing solid? Hmm. So I actually learned this okay. more so from uh, when I, during my poker days. Okay. I was actually mm. reading uh, a lot of books about. Uh, we'll have to talk about that later. I didn't yeah. know you, I didn't know you had poker days. I had a little Ooh. bit of poker days. A little okay. bit. All right. Cool. Um, We're going to come and, back to that. Yeah. So basically uh, there's like this theory of just playing solid. Like, you know, poker has a little bit of randomness. Obviously there's cards. Yeah. But if you make the correct decision every single time, mm-hmm. you'll, it you balances know, out. yeah, it balances out because if you're making the correct decision every single time, then eventually, you know, odds will be in your favor. Mm-hmm. So I care more about weighing that nine out of 10 games than weighing that one out of 10 where, where I just go crazy and play some crazy hand. I'll always play safe. I'll always be careful and try and win the nine out of 10 instead of doing the wake up DP, which is not the solid answer, but it will win you that one out of 10 games. Okay. So then in Street Fighter five, to, you know, it, it never looks like the solid stuff wins because we're taught mm. our, this is going to sound dumb, our generation is taught to block on wake up, right? and not to jump. They don't know what this is anymore. These kids nowadays don't know blocking, you know? Right? I mean, yeah. I- the worst part though is when the old people try and play like the kids. You know? Wait, why are you pointing? Wait, what are you talking about? Hold I'm up, just saying. Now. Hold on. I'm hold just on, saying. Hold on, hold on, when hold the on. old men try and emulate what the kids are doing, okay. the wake of buttons, okay. the buttons here, okay. the buttons there, the so dashing, I have to, I have to jumping. Hold on, I gotta cut them off. Let me cut them off. Let me cut them off right now sure. because you're you just killed like 17 birds with one stone. Did I? <laughs> you just so a. I am considered an old player. Oh, is no. what you just did. I'm, I'm I mean, old niners are considered old nowadays. No, so now you officially they call are. me an OG. You, oh, well, yes, yeah, true. technically old niners are old school now. Old, That's old eight years ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, you made it, Mike. You finally made it. Mike Ross is finally OG. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. All those years looking up to Watson, <laughs> you finally made it, Mike. <laughs> Watson's so fraudy right now, you know? <sighs> Building super <laughs> rugby in my head, thinking about, you know, Mike Ross is an OG now. <laughs> Well, thank you for that. Yeah. I mean, so now that we have established I'm OG, you're saying that I'm playing like the kids in yeah. the sense that, you know, uh, I hit, I don't block on wake up. <laughs> I hit buttons. Always. 
It's like, good. Don't, don't play with the. Uh, <laughs> see, you start you start hitting buttons on wake up. Jeez. You play with the with the. Dude, on on the mic. Yeah, sorry about that. Thank you. I, I just, kids, the the uh, uh, the ADD nowadays. You know. Jeez. You know. Okay. Got your riddling. Where's the rest of the riddling? Hold on, please. Kiss my ass. How about that? How about that? Then you got the new school play I style, missed you, man. Mike. I, I missed, missed you both of you. I haven't seen either of you in so long. Know. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. It has been a hot minute, man. I think about you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I think about you. Last time I saw you, it was uh, under unfavorable circumstances. Flying sticks, flying wallets. I it's mean, well, <laughs> to be fair, we've seen each other since. Never. <laughs> I have not Never? seen you since that day. Never? That was no. the last day? That was the last day. I've that was the you. last day? Yep. When I didn't walk out on, on you. No? No. No? No. Okay. I'm just saying. Sorry. Yeah. It's a rough day. It was a sad day. Sad Look, day. there's a lot going on. There was. There were issues. Yeah? Issues behind mm. Interesting. things. Interesting. Behind the scenes. Wow. Crazy. Ari, please. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I am. Fun times. Fun times. Uh, it's always better days at the end of the fun times. Uh, we, had, we, had, we had a fun time. Are we done? We're not gonna have fun anymore. Are we? we can have fun. We'll still have fun. Yeah, different kind of fun. We'll have fun. Anytime somebody says different kind of fun, you know it's not gonna be as good. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Mm. It's That's never as dead, good as the first fun. Dead giveaway. Mm. It's never as good as the first fun, but it could be fun. Yeah, it's plenty of fun ahead. Always plenty of fun. Yep. All right, so playing, <laughs> so playing solid, and when the old men, when the old guys start to start to play, try to play like the young kids. Yeah, you're saying you're implying it doesn't work. I was about to hijack. What do you, you want? Can you can hijack. <laughs> Tell me what you need from me. Um, just I, I'm more of a fan of of playing to your style. Play mm. what fits you. You know, mm. if you want to jump, jump, Mike. Mm. I jump. I'll admit, I jump. I jump. I've always liked to jump, Mike. <laughs> you know what, though? I like to jump, too. Yeah? And there have been some people that have told me that my jump style and mm-hmm. technique, it's, it's, very, it's very calculated. So, you know, is, yes. I agree Quote with LTP. that. I agree with that for Street Fighter 4. Mm-hmm. I think you had very good Street Fighter 4 jumps. Mm-hmm. I think now you just jump to jump. Hold on. <laughs> but, yes, I do have my comfort zone of jumping. Yeah. And I like it's to easy to interrogate. Like, it was like, it was hard in, in Street Fighter 4. Now it's easy. It's very simple. I still don't see it. It's also a stigma. I still don't see it. You also need to stop jumping because people associate jumping with you. You have to think about what you look like compared to someone else, not what you mm. want to look like. Mm. You want to look like a solid player, a non-jumper, all this stuff. You don't look like that type of run. What do people think when they're like, hmm, I'm going to play my cross. Oh, he's going to jump. So what do you do? Don't jump. Use it against them. Can you look up my archives and see how often I jump? I actually jump never jump. So I actually don't me. jump. On me, you jump all day. I didn't. Okay, wait. You jumped all day. I did jump. You literally said halfway through, you didn't start anti airing. And I still started anti airing and still start jumping. Jump, jump, jump. You need to use this against them, like the mind games. The they mind expect games. the jumps. You never yeah. give it to them. They know. Or you give it to them like once. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. He's, he's not going to jump. He's not going to jump. Oh, shit. He exactly. finally fucking jumped. Just like in Street <laughs> Fighter 4, right? Eventually, people were going to expect the Gutex shimmy. So yeah. stop shimmying. Yeah. You know? That's, the new That's what they think when, they, when they're going to play you. Mm-hmm. So think, what do they think of me? Does this person know me? You know, and then you just do what that. Do you, what do you think, when you play people, what do you think they're thinking about you? They think I'm a choke. Mm. That's all they're thinking. Okay. So that's, so, that's so all I can really... How do you come back? Yeah, that? I, 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 I try really hard not choke with that choke. <laughs> <laughs> you can't combat that one. I, I don't have the easy one. So you guys okay. got the easy one. Okay. Okay. I don't have the easy one. Oh, really? You think it's easy for me? Yeah. <laughs> easy to not jump? <laughs> you think it's easy for me? Yeah. No, man. You got fireballs. You got buttons. You got buttons. You got buttons. Yeah. Buttons. Well, everybody's got buttons. That's the yeah. name of the game. It's kind everybody's of got buttons now. Yeah. It's true. So, I mean, if you, uh, you know, why, why do you think you choke? What happens? Um, so basically, you know, you go into a tournament match or something, and you're thinking about the match, you're thinking about the player, you're mm-hmm. thinking about what they're doing, what they did last round, what they're going to do next round, mm-hmm. all this stuff. I think 
oh my God, what are people going to say if I lose? That's what I start thinking about. Towards the end. Yes. If things start going bad, I'm like, oh man, what are people going to say if I lose? And then also, I start thinking, if, if it's good match, oh man, I'm going to beat this guy, and then I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's actually why the shizza thing happened. Because I was like, oh, I got uh, top eight. Yeah. You know? I was already yeah. thinking about winning the golden stick. But he, he beat you to get into top eight? So I beat Tokido in 2010, mm. and then I was like, oh, I play Shizza guarantee next? To, guarantee top eight. You'll yeah. Look, you looked right past him. I yeah. looked right past him. like, Shizza? Chun Rufus? Mm. I'm good. And I played probably the worst I've ever played in my entire life. Like, I got hit by everything. I didn't tech a single throw. I got hit by jump fierce, fierce. I got hit by everything. It was so bad. Never played that bad in my life. Eh, what, what, uh, what do you think? What did you think about afterwards? You know. Dang, you're deep. Yeah, me and Justin were very sad that night because that was when he lost to Gamer B. Yeah. So that oh, was. Oh, you guys were you guys were in Vegas trying to drink the sorrows away. Exactly. Yeah. That was a rough night. It was definitely a rough night. We were not happy because it was like it was like guaranteed. And it's like, oh, you know, we're gonna get top eight, blah blah. And then we look at top eight, and it's like Henry Sen and Mike Ross. Like, what? Mm. What happened? And then how did you feel? I didn't know who you were. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew Henry, though, you know? You were the random. I was like, oh, this guy again. Jeez. How did he get there? Who did he beat? Oh, Juice Box? Okay. Oh Good stuff. <laughs> For, actually, I didn't have to play Juice Box. Who did you beat? You beat Chaos. I know you qualified off Dr. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. Did you beat, I beat anyone? Jay. I had to beat J.R. Rodriguez. And he almost, de- he, that demon whiff, that should have killed me. Are you serious? Yeah, like there was just some You should have lost to JR? I did, a, I did a butt stomp on my wake up. Yeah. And he read it and did demon. And it started chasing me as I was falling. And it just oh, didn't grab no. me. So I was like, hey, clearly it's not up to me. Yeah, that was a crazy year. <laughs> yeah, clearly it's not up to me. I'll yeah. take it though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just rolling dice. But anyways, present day. Yeah. It's a new time, new game. New time, new game. Yeah. So... I mean, I think you and I have been out of the tournament scene for about the same amount of time. Yeah, <laughs> so, probably. Uh, are you coming back this year? Are you going to uh, be competing? Are you going to be traveling? Do you miss it? Okay. Ooh. So, during the EG days, it was too much because I was traveling three or four times a month and it, it burned me out. It yeah. killed my competitive spirit. I mean, this was killed like killed 2010, 2009, 2010? No, or later. 2011? Later, it was like mm. 11, 12, 13. Okay, okay. Like, I think those were the years. And like, it just got to the point where it's like, I don't want to play this? anymore. This yeah. feels like a job now. It doesn't feel like what I started, mm. you know? And I got burned out because I hated traveling. I had to travel all the time. I got burned out because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get to this, get to... I guess it was 25th anniversary at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was traveling on time for Cross Tech, and, and and I think 2012? I don't even know what, what version it was at that time. But it, it just completely burned me out, and uh, I stopped going to everything. You know, I went to Evo. I go to, I'm the Evo guy now. I show up at Evo, and that's about it. Um, but I'm not going to lie, last year, with like just watching every single tournament, I was just like, I, I kind of missed this. Mm. I, I need, I need, I'm not going to go like, oh my God, I want, I want to get in Capcom Cup. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. do the cave ride and yeah, yeah. go to everything, right. you know, go 100. to Peru, <laughs> go, and then go to Colombia, go, you know, I'm not going to do that. But I'll go to like Combo Breaker, I'll go to mm. NCR, I'll go okay. to that kind of stuff. Okay. But can't do the craziness again. I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing now enough to, to not want that again. That's to, beautiful. To, to go to, to compete for funsies? It's it's a little bit more than funsies, but not in the in the sense of I need to qualify for Capcom Cup. Mm. It's like I'm gonna go to a tournament. It's not like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there as a spectator. I'm gonna right. go there. I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna do my best. I'm sure, I'll get salty when I lose. You right. know, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it will be to the level of how it used to be. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, I like that. I like that take. Yeah, I'll probably go back to to what I used to, where like just try and do well in everything, you know, just play everything. All games. Yeah, because yeah, I started playing like Blaze Blue the other day and stuff. Oh, a little shit. bit of Guilty Gear. You any good? No. Really? No, I'm being serious. No. Guilty Gear? Guilty Gear, I'm, I'm okay. But I mean, you always played like all the games, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I like that. But when the whole esports thing took over, it was mm. like, you better play this game mm. and nothing else. Mm. And 
that, that's, that gets that's boring true. to me very very quickly. Do you think that yeah. playing all the games like is a is it better to focus on one game or does it help to play the other games? So I think nowadays you kind of have to play one game because the level is so high that you kind of have to focus all your effort on one game. But depending I think depending on your goal, huh? Depending on your goal, though. I mean, depending on your goal, yeah. But most people's goal is Capcom Cup at this point. Like most people, um, I think that playing all the games though is why I'm able to learn new games so quickly though, because I can take. I can be like, oh, this reminds me of Tekken 4. You know, this character reminds me of this. This character reminds me of Soul Calibur. This character reminds me of Guilty Gear. And I can just be like, oh, simple. Boom, boom, boom. I can do this like that, this like that, and it's just simple. And I think the reason that that I'm able to play so many games is because I've played so many games. Mm. Yeah. Are you interested at all in For Honor? Have you played that yet? I played the beta yeah, a wait, little okay, bit. So just give me, give me the TLDR. Okay. I keep seeing people talk about it, but I have, I've never seen it. I don't know what it is. I don't even know how I to heard that it. you could parry it, that there yeah, were parries yeah. in it. I'm like, it's, but that's, that's, so, that's so vague. It's like, oh. yeah, there's parries, but it's not like you can do like, like Daigo parry or something. It's not like that. It's like you have an option to parry. It's rock, paper, scissors, and parry is one of the options. So it's a fighting game? It's like kind a third of? person. It's kind of like uh, plays like what is the, uh, the one that Eris and Joe love, Dark Souls. Is it kind yeah. of like that? Like plays like from that perspective. Yeah, but it's Dark Souls ish, I guess. Yeah, a Dark Souls fighting game, maybe. That's probably the best way so, to put it. Um, but it's like you know, like with swords and stuff like that. There's like whiff punching is it and hard? footsies. I seen videos. It looks dope. I played a little bit of the beta. It was. It was okay. Mm. It wasn't anything that I'm like, oh, I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> nothing, nothing too, too crazy. But people seem to love it, so maybe. It's Just, not my cup of tea. Yeah, I said I haven't tried it, but I want to. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's interesting. But so speaking of entertainment, now you know after having gotten burnt out with competing and mm. then being gone for a while and not traveling, now you're more focused on streaming. Yeah, that's all I do. <laughs> it's my entire life. How you're a, you're you're a step away from a, a cam girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, hit, hit me where it hurts. Yeah, <laughs> you said it. You said I, it. I did say it. I can't I can't even, I can't even deny it at this point. Um, you're a cam man. Yeah, cam man. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, I I, I keep my clothes on. So oh, no. for you, now, I got that yeah. going for me. Yeah, for now, you, know, you, know, you want you want that top D? Maybe we'll talk. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, you know, it's it's going well. It's very. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you've, um, you know, the people that are, that are listening to this, I'm sure they watch all the streams. And I didn't even see your setup, but you got VR yeah. now. Someone um, actually sent a vibe. That's freaking awesome. Crazy. Someone sent a donation. And they said, hey, you should go check your Amazon wish list. I'm like, okay, sure. And I open up my Amazon wish list. Thing they sent like a, a Funko or something. Yeah, yeah. And I open it up and see the vibe was sent. I'm like, oh my God, you guys are crazy. Dude, you have a strong and dedicated following. It's, it's like a community. <laughs> yes. It's it's really a community, you know? Like I know these people's names, mm -hmm. I see them, yeah. I we communicate. It's mm -hmm. it's very I, I don't think it's like a lot of Twitch streams, because most mm -hmm. Twitch streams are you go there, you watch a dude play a game. Yes. He comments on, oh man, look at the graphics, look at yeah. this, look at that. Oh, that was a funny thing that happened mm -hmm. in the game. I try and make my stream a lot more about the people. Yeah. Like there will be times that, that I just sit there, you know, talking to them and yeah. stuff. Like the game, I always tried to make sure that the game was second and that they were coming because they enjoyed like the entertainment that I give them. We played. I went on your stream and you had me playing some online games. Oh yeah, I, I got together, a bunch which of I think is stuff. super sick. Where yeah. you from? You, you with you at home? I was at home. Yeah, and he. I don't. I don't like. They're not. I mean, I'm not going to disrespect the games, but I don't know what the hell to call them. <laughs> but they're like, they're not standard games. They were one was like a trivia type oh, game. Oh, he's talking about Jackbox. Have you ever heard of Jackbox? No, I live in a cave. I yeah, explain so, it, please, because it's so. So funny. basically, um, it's a game. It's basically like five games within a game. There's three versions. There's like five games for each version. Uh, the way it works is it's kind of like a party game where you'll have it on a screen. And there'll be, it'll be like, go to this website and put in this code on your phone. So that if you have a bunch of people with you, they can go to this website, uh, go on their phone, and then they play the game from their phone. Oh. So basically everyone's playing together. And you know, there's trivia ones where like you answer on your phone. There's just a bunch of stuff like that. Hmm. 
cool. It's really cool. Yeah. It's like all web based, which is yeah, it's know, all web based. Kind of designed wow. for streaming, yeah. almost right. So it's like super sick. Yeah. It's how really do you, cool. uh, you know? I mean, I know that you said that the games come second, but how do you even like pick the games? Or how do you decide, you know, before you start, like, what do you, you know, what do you think? Do you, do you, I mean, I saw that you have, like, you know, the Discord, you know, you have yeah. a Discord open. Like, do you talk to them first? Do you, like, think about it? Like, when you wake up, you're like, you know what I'm going to do today? Like, I am always thinking about streaming. Like, yeah. if I'm not streaming, I'm yeah. thinking about streaming. Yeah. Um, literally, streaming takes over my life. Um, yeah. As far as what games, uh, it's a mixture of browsing random sites on stream with them and seeing how they react to games. <laughs> Um, I like that idea. Looking through Steam new games. Because, like, I like the bottom of the barrel games. I don't want to play... <laughs> right. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to play your, your AAA yeah. Bioshock, yeah, no, God of Wars, and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to play, like, Shower With Your Dad Simulator. <laughs> That's <laughs> a no. You think I'm joking. No. That's a game. I want, I want the bottom of the barrel. That's the kind of shit that I play. And I think that's, that's a more enjoyable time. Uh, forever, because I play a lot of stuff that no one's ever gonna play. Mm. Like I probably have a million world records because no one's ever played these <laughs> games. You know, like, I've got like every single time. But I do play the popular stuff once in a while. But it's it, it really depends. It's like I don't th- like the amount of varying games that I play there is just it's it's crazy. There's like I have like seven hundred yeah, games in my Steam library. library. It's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. And now the VR just opens up a whole new barrel. Yeah. Okay, so just scrape the bottom. Of it. So, 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 tell us about your experience, your VR experiences so far, because I, you know, I'm old as you know. If ninety nine, if two thousand nine is you know OG, OG, mm-hmm. then I'm ancient G, right? Yeah. So, I don't know the difference between the Vive and the Oculus and the PS. I don't either. Oh. Uh, because uh, I this is actually my first experience with VR ever. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, right. so, so, so what I have, have no you idea. experienced so far? I've experienced. I mean, it runs on the PC. Yes. You got, a, you got a quite the beastly PC mm, here. Yes. Even though I've had issues nonstop. But apparently that's Wait, just what happens. You got 100 damn cords plugged into it. I know. It. So sure. You saw. You yes. saw the back of that thing. <laughs> um, so my experiences so far um, played a few games. Played like. Like at first, I was just playing like the stuff where you just look around and it's like, oh, this is kind of sick, you know? Because mm. I was super scared that I was going to put it on. I was going to get sick. Because I had mm. never had VR experience uh. before. So I didn't know if I was going to be able to handle it. So I did that. I did this. Um, I did some space game. I did some... Uh, the, the coolest game so far, I think, is this game called Accounting. Have you ever heard of that? Mm-mm. So basically, uh, you would think that you're going in there. It's going to be something stupid. You sit there with a calculator or something. Um, but it's actually... I think it's made by the creators of Rick and Morty. Oh, oh, oh snaps. Yeah. Shit. So the whole thing is like comedy-based. That's awesome. And uh, it's... That game, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It was random. It was completely random, but it was really, really good. Um, and then I was, that same, well, the same night or maybe a night later, um, I was looking through my VR games, mm-hmm. and I stumbled upon this, this other game that I didn't even remember buying. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me try this out. And I, I started, and I'm walking through a place, and then I realized... That they tricked me into playing a horror game. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Because I, I made a specific thing that that I'm not gonna play a horror game because I will have a heart attack. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And I stumbled upon this horror game, and I played through the whole thing. The whole game. The whole game. Literally, you just sit there the whole game. But it's all looking around. You, you look at things and it triggers oh, things. I don't want to look at things and get triggered. <laughs> oh, you're going to get triggered. You're going to get triggered. And I have never screamed so loud in my life at the end of that game. And that, like, people could say that this, oh my God, it's Twitch streamer just overreacting. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. This was 100%. I lost my shit. It was too much. This, this random happened? shadow yeah, lady appeared in front of me. And I was like, whoa. I just, I died. So you haven't tried Resident Evil 7? So it's not out for VR on PC. Oh, it's yes. only on PS4. Yeah. I've played the game, though. Yes. Amazing game. Have you played it? I, I, so I played it on VR last really? week. And I'm, you know, I'm both happy and, or like, ecstatic, I should say. that. Yeah, congratulations. The game is freaking awesome. Like, yeah. That's what I want to see. You know, it's Resident Evil, you want to be submerged into right. this universe and, and all kind of crazy stuff. 
put the visor on. And immediately, like, I'm, you know, I'm a coward. I don't care. Like, you know, like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this horror stuff. Yeah. Right? But I tried it. I gave it 15 minutes. And really? And I actually fell out of my chair. Really? I actually got, I jumped so bad that I fell out of my chair. And it was, it was, uh, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I'm never going to play it again. It's an it amazing game. The game works. Yeah. All right. It looks good, but I, 15 minutes is all I need. No. I can't handle it. I don't know how you sat through and did an entire game. Because I didn't do VR. If I did on VR, I would have never... No, I mean, the, the horror game you played oh, in VR. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how you could sit through it. That's horror. Like, that it stuff, was, it jumps out at you. It's it going to... so bad. So you, might... can, you can stream? When you're, when you're playing, you're streaming it, and then they see what you see. So basically, it's just the same as a normal game, where it's, yeah, they, they see what's coming through there. But then you also have a camera yeah. on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you think a next level round? You're like, yes. No, I mean, I was, VR. I mean, I was thinking of getting one, mm -hmm. you know, because... It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like VR is the near future. Yeah. Once, once, they, once the Vive or the Oculus kind of get around that $500, that's that magic yeah. price point, you know? Yeah. I think PSVR is, is around there. Right, but the PSVR, I was told, is, uh, is not full 360. It's only oh, like really? stuff like this. So you can't it's, like... No, no, no. Around. PSVR is full. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of them. One Oculus. Of them is a, yeah. Oculus is as well, but from the time I tried it, it mm. was just like, yeah, it looked like you're looking at a screen, mm. you know, yeah. rather than you know, like with the vibe yeah. and stuff. It's all your peripheral vision. Yeah. That's all you see. But yeah, like, I got to pl I got to play this demo yeah. um, of uh, God. I don't even. I don't even remember the name. Never mind. It was like a. <laughs> it was like a shooter, mm. yeah. but you have like guns. And a shooter with guns. Yeah, so you use... <laughs> no, but... Well but, played. Well right, yes, played. Yes, 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 but... Get his ass. Sounds like a sick game. <laughs> yeah. I know. But you use those as, as the guns. Oh, so yeah. You're, so you're, like, reloading and shit. It was yeah. very... Uh, That's cool. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah so, Servios makes it. That's the name of the company, but I forget the name of the All game. Right. I know what you're talking about. I think Miss Habit works there, right? She mm. asked me to play that game recently. Raw. Raw. Raw data. Yeah. Oh, raw, raw data. data. Yeah. I got yeah. to play raw data. Yeah. That was yeah. my first experience on the yeah. live. How and did I you was, feel about it? Oh, I felt great. I was, it was like, awesome, this shit, right? is, this, this shit is sick. I yeah. haven't tried it yet. You have to, like, yeah, you, have you have to like, use, <laughs> you have to duck, like, you know, really? when you're shooting at you, you got to duck because you see, like, arrows coming yeah. at you. They're kind of slow, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. did you? Um, or did you just play? I I was just kind of, like, going like that. and <laughs> Plus, if fools on the floor playing that. Like, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you have, like, that full yeah. area to yeah. to play in. Yeah, like, like, Sony VR does not have anything no, like that. No, really? because you're you have like a smaller field yeah. to play in. So yeah, like this whole room is my. Is yeah, my field. like I see the uh, yeah. the sensors up there. Right. It's fucking sick. Yeah. So see, I'm, yeah. Yeah, well, like with VR, I'll say it's just the bar in front of you. So even though you can yeah. look behind you, you can't. It won't register when you're mm. doing stuff over this way. That's what it is. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. You because can look behind you and see all. So that. there's not a play area. No. Oh, yeah, okay. Whereas this yeah. is like, you know, this you is. just transform yeah. in your GG. And it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like night and day, the stuff yeah. that you can even like think about yeah. in terms of like what they're trying to do with games. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I'm into that VR. I want to get that VR adult entertainment. Oh, you yeah. want VR adult entertainment? That's right. In a perfect, yeah. in a perfect well, world, what does that look like? Well, I'll tell you, I don't know what the perfect world looks like, but mm -hmm. I'll tell you what the present <laughs> looks like, <laughs> okay. which right. is cam sites with VR and okay. And porn sites that are like VR porn sites. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think there's like specific things now. Yeah. Just for that. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you want, you want a virtual interaction or you're watching a virtual? Either. Thing? Either. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I mean, I watched this video on Teledildonics. Like, it was like. I've heard about <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. Because eventually the future is like. The VR connects uh, yes. to the USB, yeah. See, connects you to already the, know. Yeah. To the See, device. Yeah, to the device. Gonna go, I'm gonna invest. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go live. Yeah. And we're gonna go I'm on pretty that. sure Japan's had this for like fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't our they Japanese been, arcades. They've been holding this shit for themselves. Yeah, yeah. They're like, this oh they find the guy that's stupid yeah. American. Yeah. Nobody Jeez. ever went down to basement level six. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ever went down that far. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that's that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. I think uh Near future, we always talk about. about it. Yeah, we always say it's gonna end civilization. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, did you guys see surrogates? Yeah. The Bruce Willis film. Don't think so. No. Well, 
Do you want to see the near future and see what you're going to turn into with your vibe? Yeah. And when yeah. I say you, I mean we. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't yeah. this together. Yeah. Yeah. This, is a, this is definitely a joint venture. Yeah. 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 Is that new? Serious? No. no. That was like, 2000. Like five years ago. It's like OG oh, really? movie. It was like 09. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that? Oh, OG, yeah. OG 09? Yeah, you know. Nine? See how we did that there? All those OGs. Exactly. Vintage. The classic. Oh, okay. Steve's here. All right. Okay. Okay. That's probably a good time to wrap up. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank, thank you for listening. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Flo, Mr. thank you for uh, for joining us. We're going to shoot the we're going to shoot the real show. Watch out for Flo on Excellent Adventures coming soon. Mm. Flo, where they, where can they go for more Flo? Uh, Twitch.tv backslash Flo and Twitter uh, is at Flo Jisan. F-L-O-E-J-I-S-A-N. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you guys later.